Hello again. My name is Dave Zona. You know, I posted, still have any doubt about who did what? That went up on the 31st of May 2017. And when I got it back, it only had 905 views. I think it should have had a hell of a lot more. But then again, that's just what I think. Now what I did is I went ahead and did a little bit of Googling. And the reason that I did that is one of my viewers asked, actually a number of viewers asked the question, but this is one of the questions I wanted to try to address, because I think it's an important one. The uh, viewer by the name of Charlotte wrote, Gabe, no disrespect. How are the passengers on these planes eliminated? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I can buy the fake con, but where are the people from four planes? Well, that got me thinking, and I went ahead and I did a little bit of Googling. I like to do that every once in a while. And what I found was most interesting. What I found was that on that particular day, there were four flights. Flight 11, Flight 76, Flight 93, and Flight 77. Now, these were relatively large airplanes. The first three airplanes had a seating capacity of 180. The last two had a seating capacity of 200. Now, if you watch some of my videos, you know that I've said more than once that I've traveled a great deal. I had over a million miles on American Airlines alone. I used to work for Rockwell International. I ended up being the managing director of the Pacific Rim. And I've never been on a flight that wasn't to full capacity, pretty much ever. It wouldn't make any sense for any airline to fly a 747, a 757, a 767 from the west coast to the east coast on a bright clear weekday in the morning with 26 passengers on board. I mean that would be totally insane. Wouldn't make any sense to fly them with 46 passengers on board. Or 50 passengers on board. Not even 76. Flight 11 supposedly had 76, and that aircraft had 180 seats available. Flight 76 had 46 passengers, so we're told. Flight 93. You know, the one I went to Shanksville, 26 passengers. Flight 77, 50 passengers. And I'm going to attach a link that you might want to spend some time perusing. And you'll see from that link that the names of those Arab hijackers don't appear on certain manifests. You know why? Because they didn't exist. That's why. I don't know if any of these passengers existed. I don't know if any of these airplanes disappeared. I mean, how do you know that any of them perished? They might all have perished. I don't know. But not a single one of these planes crashed into the Pentagon, not a single one of these planes crashed into the Twin Towers, and not a single one of these planes crashed in the field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. The evidence is indisputable. So I hope I answered the viewer's question. Take a look at this document. Let me know what you think. I told you what I think, haven't I?